So we're here in Miss McFarland's house for the exhibit opening of Of Accidental Origin, which is a project we've been working on for a few months now. We've gone through all of the art archives in the art building. The Lamont Art Gallery has a huge permanent collection and um, it's so vast that it actually all doesn't fit in the storage area. There's a lot of it in the basement of the Academy Center and um, it's getting damaged there because of leaks. So um, our goal in this exhibit was to take some of the stuff that's been gathering dust in the permanent collection and bring it into a space where a lot of um, people who the Academy valued would see it. We've chosen the pieces that we think express Exeter in a whole way. We've been working to like bring um, the diverse collection from the gallery, which we think represents Exeter's diverse community well, and put it into an important space on campus. When I first moved into Salt and Stall House, it's a big house, and who has enough artwork to furnish a house like this? And we have so much amazing artwork in the Lamont Gallery and no really great places to exhibit it. So I asked Ms. O'Neill if it would be possible to borrow some of the artwork from Salt and Stall. And the Lamont Gallery curators, proctors, took the charge of choosing the artwork, putting together the collection, getting it hung, getting it arranged, doing all the research behind it, and I love it. One of the most interesting parts of our project, I would say, is this diagram that we have here. It's essentially, if I were to put it into a couple words, the process of which how we put all these paintings and um, all this artwork into certain places around South Saw Hall. It was really hard to um, find a cohesive exhibit in pieces that we've just collected over the years, but we were able to make them meld together and I think in a pretty beautiful way, in a way that almost represents the diversity that is Exeter. There were things that we initially did not want to put into the dining room, but right when Principal McFarland saw them, she was like in love with the pieces. This is my favorite piece in the exhibit. The artist, uh, Federico Castillon, was a huge fan of Edgar Allan Poe, so he decided to illustrate. This was like a 10-page story, and he made 26 different paintings for it, and this is one of them. And so it's a man holding a plague mask in his watermelon getup in a dark alleyway. So <laughs> it's one of my favorite pieces. One of my most favorite pieces, I think, in the entire art exhibit, and I think it's this giraffe and this giraffe. I don't know. It's just when I saw it in storage for the first time, it just popped at me, and I was like, this needs to be in the exhibit somehow. A lot of the art that was pulled in storage weren't necessarily sculptures and figures, but we, we were still able to integrate them into the exhibit, which I found really interesting. All the different um, imagery and the sculpture and the just the architecture and the way we placed it, it really became something of its own. One thing that really exemplifies like this exhibit is the fact that among all these 1900s pieces of artwork, we have like a Nigerian sculpture piece. I'm glad that we were able to integrate that idea of individualism and having different pieces that are similar stand out within the picture. It really shows that we can put. Um, Nigerian artwork of an unknown date next to Western artwork, and it still fits together. No matter where you put the point, it always balances. It's my party trick.